So guys, far side of this video, I just want to say please smash the like button, smash the like button, and guys, let's get straight on with the video. <laughs> What's up guys, Shekup Soon's back and welcome to another video on my channel. Today I'm doing another walking vlog, guys. And guys, today I'm walking at Tickney Lock. So guys, if you're going to enjoy the video, please consider to subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. And guys, let's get straight on with the vlog. So guys, we have just arrived at Tickney Lock and we have just parked the car down from the Crown and Anchor. This is the disused Tickney Lock. So guys, this is a World War II bunker. This case made is of type Lincolnshire Free Bay. During World War II, these bunkers were used for the defence for the United Kingdom against a possible enemy evasion. They were built in 1940 and into 1941. These large two forts in Estuary were built during World War I. The forts guarded the mouth of the Humber, Grimsby and Hull. The forts are called Haley Sand Fort and Ball Sand Fort. Spurn Head Lighthouse was first constructed in 1895 and deactivated in 1985. 
Before Spurn had Lighthouse, there was a former low light lighthouse. John Smelton was commissioned to build it. Later on, the lighthouse was washed away out to sea. So we are now heading towards Titney Oil Terminal. So in the distance is Titney Oil Terminal. This deep water crude oil importing terminal was built by Conoco in the early 1970s. About three miles offshore is a monoboy. It is a large drum shaped structure held in position by eight anchors. Oil is transferred to the refinery at South Killingham through a 14 mile 22 inch buried pipeline.
Get that in there with a fish. Jumping in. You pink or red! So we are now just walking towards Titney Blowwell's Nature Reserve. So we have just found this awesome spot and I think we're going to have lunch. We are just walking past the navigation warehouse at the North Forsby Bridge. The 18th century warehouse is a symbol of the town's prosperity in the days when the wool and corn trade played a leading role in the economy. The building was restored in 1999. North Fallsby Bridge. So in the distance is Titney Oil Terminal. So we've just made it back to Tetney Lock and we are just walking back to the car now. The Crown and Anchor.
So guys, we've just made it back to the car on that one, guys. It's been a really good walk today. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, please consider to subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. And guys, I'll leave my Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter in the description below. So guys, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you later. So guys, this is just the overview of the walk.